All right, let's do some more Q and A, uh, and some of these questions are kind of funny. Anyways, uh, the first question here is by the Clob. I think that's how you say it. So the person is having a problem with uh, Google Earth and uh, get it running on Ubuntu 10.04. All right, so I actually downloaded. Okay, here we go. Open this. So this is Google Earth. I think you make sure it's um, click on the properties here, allow executing, and I think you bust out your terminal here and just drag the stupid thing in here. Enter. It should do its thing. What is this? Oh, so it's uncompressing. There you go. You do this and. Um, where do you want to install it to? Let's just go begin installing. See what it does here. Let's see here. Oh, that was it. It was it. Okay. Start the program. And voila, you have Google Earth, uh, the Linux version. Is that it? Okay, that was one problem solved, I guess. Okay. And that's how you install Google Earth. Uh, we'll get back to this later on. Next question AWN or Docky versus Docky? It's just a user preference, you know. <clears throat> uh, which one do I think is the best right now? I probably think is Docky. Okay, that one um, It's very slick, you know. Although I'm not using that anymore, I used to use it. But I'm using uh, AWN uh, Doc now. Uh, long term wise, I think that Docky is not going anywhere. But right now, it is the number one uh, Doc, I believe, because I think um, you know the mono haters are gonna <laughs> are gonna push it down, and uh, it it makes sense not to use it because um, you know it's a it's a lot of resource. On that and and Advent Windows Navigator is less resource and that's why I like to use it. Uh, basically, that's it. Okay. So versus doesn't really matter. Just your preference. Okay. That's it. Uh, and that was submitted by GNG five two five seven. Okay. What is this next one? Uh, can you make a touch on how to get the menu bar uh, of a program to your top panel? like OS X. I think he's talking about this thing. I already have a video on that. You know, people always ask me the same questions. That's why I don't reply to it. But let's do it here. The video you're looking for is called Global Menu and put my name in it. And there you go. This is the video. Okay. Look at this this is the video you're looking for okay and that will get you the global menu that's it for that one alright let's see uh, next and that one was submitted by Luco I think I'm gonna stop saying all these names anyways <clears throat> okay who's this guy Gia Pete um, I think that's how you say it hey buddy I'm using Miro to download so, uh, your videos um, but the sum of the HD videos, all so, oh, the HD videos, are giving him problems. Uh, do you a mirror feed for lower quality? I don't have uh, any um, lower quality. I, whatever I'm using for YouTube is what I have. So let's do that here. This has got mirror. Uh, this is my mural channel. I didn't realize people actually use this. I just posted it up, but uh, people actually download my videos. Okay. <laughs> um, basically, the the videos are coming from my YouTube. You can see it here. Let me uh, zoom in here. Like this. See, this is my feed, and it's exactly from YouTube. So whatever YouTube has is what I have. That's it. Okay. I can't do nothing about it. You don't actually have to use Miro. You can actually use this for any RSS uh, reader that you use, or any program that does it. All you do is copy this and paste it in there, 
and the videos will show up okay when it comes out that's it all right let's go to the next one this one is by Tony Baloney Yang and can you make a touch on how to build SNEX GTK I don't understand the forum I don't think you even need to build it because they already built it for you but let's check this out anyways SNEX 9x uh, GTK alright yeah I, I downloaded this one earlier to see see there's there's like three versions okay so the first two is the 32 bit and this one is the 64 bit and this one is the source file this is one is what you use to compile it but he says in the forum you do something like this uh... yeah so here built from source right here right so this is where you start i don't think you need the this one i, I really don't know what this one is but it's almost the same thing like we did last time right dot config uh... you know and they have some extra stuff here but the same thing dot config uh... this one i don't think you need this one for ubuntu the config path and all that i think you just do this command and then make and then you can do uh... check install so uh, you don't have to do make install you can do check install and that should get it working so the same thing like i said before config make you know make install or check install same deal but um, you can always use the the binary that re they already compiled for you which I already downloaded so let me show you here where is it at alright so this is the one right the 64 bit that I got so all you gotta do is uh, extract this here so I'm extract it out here and now you have this folder all you gotta do is right click on this little binary thing here I guess and permission allow executing and now I just click on it and voila no compiling needed is already built for you okay so that's that uh, what else is here do you like cheese uh, yes with my burger okay <laughs> that's it and that one was by dark raid zero alright that's it that was um uh, Q&A part 2 here um, I'll probably do some more if you submit some more questions that I can actually answer so that's it for this one